Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about what they're thinking, feeling about you, how they view you or this connection, and what do they wish they could tell you? What are their intentions towards you? We'll look at all of that today for Virgo. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Virgo, please. For Virgo, messages regarding love. What does Virgo need to know, sir? Regarding love. For Virgo, please, sir. Any messages for Virgo? Okay, we got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and calling in your soulmate. So this is all about manifestation here. Manifesting a soulmate. Okay. Okay, let's cut the deck. Let's see what we've got. Okay, in the recent past, we have the six of coin reverse. In your energy, we have the Nine of Wands reverse and the Queen of Wands. Present energy, we have the Ace of Swords with the King of Coin. Wow, okay, so someone here, this could be you, Virgo, or someone you're dealing with, but there is very important communication here with the Ace of Swords, clarity, truth. In their energy, we have the Chariot, Cancer energy, and judgment wow moving forward success uh, this judgment card is all about kind of reflecting on the past learning from your mistakes having some sort of an awakening um, a resurrection and the near future we have the two of wands reverse so some sort of choice has been made here or will be made obviously in the near future of course time is fluid so take that with a grain of salt Bottom of the deck, we have the tower reversed, and then the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. Interesting, hangman right behind that reversed. So with the tower reversed, this could be that someone's trying to avoid a tower, prevent a tower from falling, maybe prepare for a tower so that it's not as sudden or is not as unexpected as terrible or or uh, destructive as it can be <coughs> i have something in my throat now all of a sudden and then we have the sun so interesting what i'm getting here with the sun I'm getting like the word like dawn, like a new morning, like the sun rising. And it like illuminates everything, almost like the Lion King, you know, the entrance, the beginning of the Lion King. I don't know why I'm getting that. We'll see. So let's clarify these energies. For Virgo spirit. Tell me more. Now, Virgo, you have the Queen of Wands in your energy. This is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This is someone bold, charismatic, um, willing to take risks, creative, eccentric, attractive. Fiery energy here. The Queen of Wands, uh, what she wants, she gets. So we'll see what that's all about. Okay, so. One more. I kind of want to turn this around. Okay. Tell me about the Six of Coin Reverse. There's something that's in, off balance here. With the six of coin reverse. Why is the six of coin reverse for Virgo? Oh, that is a lot. But I'm going to take it. Oh, two of cups. Five of pentacles reverse. Knight of swords. Wow. Okay, communication is big here. I have the ace of swords, knight of swords. 
Um, this is quick communication, fast communication, someone wanting to deliver a message, a truth, and it might even be sudden. Um, interesting. This, the Five of Pentacles reverses is coming in out of the cold, overcoming difficulties, having some sort of recovery, no longer struggling. So I feel like this is regarding a partnership here. Someone here wants to communicate, talk to you here, or talk about a partnership. And maybe recover something that they're missing or, you know, overcome some sort of difficulty, whatever imbalance this is, perhaps. Okay, so why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this about with the Ace of Swords? Um, this is a new beginning based on truth, clarity. Why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? Five of, no, not five. This is the higher font reverse. It is a number five. Taurus energy. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The Moon. The Moon reversed. Hmm. And it's funny because every time I see this card, I think of the star. It's a woman coming out of the water, but it's Pisces energy. So there is something coming to the surface here. Clarity, once again, this is very important communication. What was hidden is now revealed. This is big. This is possibly something happening um, that's unexpected. And I say that because I have the Knight of Swords. I have the Tower reversed. I have the Chariot. Again, movement. Quick movement. Set in movement. The Judgment card. Resurrection. Awakening. And now I have the Moon reversed. And then the Hierophant reversed. This is somebody that... Um, it could symbolize a broken commitment, but it's also somebody that rebels against what's expected of them. Can I get one more for the Ace of Swords, please? The ma No, I was going to say the Magician. This looks a lot like the Magician, but it's actually the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. But see how it looks just like the Magician? So it's almost like this is an opportunity for someone to make something happen. To, again, propelling... Um, the Wheel of Fortune, when it turns, it, it, it helps things progress. Fate and fortune on your side, you know. Um, really good energy there with the Wheel of Fortune. All major arcanas, too, that have come out here. Major shifts in energy. So why the King of Coin here? Why is the King of Coin here? It could be the King of Coin. Someone exhibiting this energy that's, you know, using this new opportunity to their advantage. Because that's what I feel this is. Why is the King of Coin here, Spirit? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, exactly. This is a brand new opportunity here. Something tangible. Tell me more about the King of Coin. There we go again with the Chariot. You see what I'm seeing here? Someone getting on this chariot and moving forward. They're going to use this opportunity to their advantage. Whatever comes to light, it's going to help this king of coin along. This could be you, Virgo, or someone you're dealing with. But there's movement here. Three of wands, reverse. Seven of pentacles, reverse. So there's almost like an impatience, possibly a frustration, because things are probably taking a little bit longer than usual. I think that's why someone wants to speed things up. It was like someone like out of frustration, they want to speed things up. But this I feel has been a long time coming. These two cards, 
waiting, uh, investment, um, patience, you know, wondering if something's going to pay off, but they're reversed. So it's almost like someone doesn't want to wait any longer. And I'm also picking up with the seven of pentacles reverse, almost like they don't care what happens next. They just want something to happen. I don't know if this is your energy or your person's energies, but this is what I'm getting. So let's see, how do you feel about each other? Let's get some Oracle cards here for your energies. I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available, uh, link down below. Spirit, tell me more about Virgo's energy and this other person. Tell me more about Virgo and this other person. What is Virgo's energy at this time? I feel like this has been manifested. Tell me about Virgo's energy. Okay, we got love letter, message, confession, response. A special message is on its way. Got the love letter card here. I love this one. Yeah, I feel like some there is a message on its way. We have the Knight of Swords. I feel like this chariot is the one bringing this message, you know? We have the Ace of Swords. Tell me about this other person. The person that Virgo is dealing with. What is their energy spirit? What is their energy? The person that Virgo is dealing with. Okay, we got unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency, unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. Maybe this is why someone's so eager to make something happen here, because we did have the higher font reversed. Bottom of the deck, I have mirrored souls. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate, you mirror each other. I feel like, yeah, this is about a special, it's almost like someone's motivated by a special connection. Okay, let's jump into both of your energies here. Oops. Let's look at your, okay, Virgo, I have your energy here and your person on the other side here, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Why is the Nine of Wands reversed? Oh, we got the Queen of Cups. So even though um, something has been difficult here for you because the Nine of Wands reverse, I, um, it's someone that is very close to giving up, someone that can no longer resist um, because of exhaustion. I feel like you've held on because of how you feel. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. Four of Swords reverse. So this is restless energy. This is wanting to take action, but also I'm picking up like needing healing. Let's see. Can I get one more for the Nine of Wands reverse? What's the Nine of Wands reverse here, Spirit? Page of Pentacles reversed. Got the world at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like with the Page of Pentacles reversed, this opportunity hasn't arrived yet. Maybe you're getting restless, Virgo, um, because you're ready to give up, you know, for whatever reason. Maybe something hasn't happened, you know, in the way that you hoped or as fast as you hoped. But this Queen of Wands means business. What's this Queen of Wands about? What's this Queen of Wands here? Yeah, Six of Wands. This Queen of Wands is motivated, you know, wants to be successful. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Wow, the sun. Queen of Wands is motivated by happiness here. This is usually, this is the back of the sun. Beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy here. This is success. This Queen of Wands is motivated by success. This Queen of Wands wants something. Tell me more about the Six of Wands and the Sun. Tell me more about the Six of Wands and the Sun, please. Eight of Swords. Overthinking fear. There's that tower reversed again in this deck. So 
this Queen of Wands um, is motivated, but also is over. Well, this is very interesting. I don't think this is the Queen of Wands. I think this is what the Queen of Wands. It's like the Queen of Wands is aware of this, of someone stuck. And I feel like it's this other person. Because the Queen of Wands does not let her fear get the best of her. She doesn't hesitate, the Queen of Wands. A lot of attraction here. Okay, so let's look at your person. Why is the chariot here? Seven of Wands. Wow, this is a warrior. Why is the chariot here? Fighting back, standing firm, having courage. There's that tower reverse. It's like this person's trying to fight a tower, resist a tower, stand up, stand firm against a tower that maybe has already happened or will be happening here. Seven of Cups reverse. Ten of Wands in the world. Wow. And then death after that. This is big. This is a cycle ending for sure. We have the Ten of Wands, which is someone that's almost at the finish line. The world, which is all about ending a chapter and starting a new one. And the death card, Scorpio energy. This is death, endings, beginnings, change. Yeah, and then the Six of Cups after that. Are you kidding me? So this person has made a choice. It's in the, it, they're in the midst of making a choice to move forward here. Tell me about judgment. Maybe I want more, some more clarity about this judgment card. Right before uh, the world is judgment, by the way. So I feel like this person is has had some sort of an awakening here. Some sort of clarity about what they want to move towards. Tell me about judgment. Yep, Six of Swords reverse. So, okay, can I get one more about judgment, please? Can I get some more clarity? Eight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone that is moving forward, taking action, and possibly communicating. Now, with the Six of Swords reverse, you know, and the Eight of Wands, this is telling me that this is not someone delayed. They're not delayed. They're returning to something. Tell me more about judgment. What is judgment about? King of Wands reverse. Someone's not going to be happy about this. Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups reverse at the bottom of, I mean, at the top of the deck here. So I feel like there's someone else here. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. Why is he reverse spirit? Judgment reverse. Interesting. I feel like this is someone that wants to get in the way of someone else having a wake up call here or making some sort of judgment call. Hangman reverse at the bottom of the deck and at the top of the deck, the Five of Cups. Oh, interesting. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. So, so I was wrong. The Six of Swords is maybe, I mean, I don't want to say I'm wrong because someone could be still returning. But what I'm getting now is there is definitely interference here. Something hasn't officially been um, rebalanced. Something's going to take time here. And it's not because of your person. It's almost like there's a barrier for your person here. So what's going to happen in the near future? And I don't know what this is. This could be anything. I feel like it's whatever unhealthy attachment or attachment this person has. This could be family, a past partner, you know, something else. This could be... Um, some sort of like addiction, dependency, it could be, you know, drama, whatever it is. Someone here is like in the way. 
Tell me about this Two of Wands reverse, please. Ace of Wands. Yes, this is someone that is making a decision to have a new beginning here. I mean, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, three aces. All upright. Three of Swords. There's is going to have difficulty. There's going to be difficulty here. It's not going to be easy, but I feel it's going to be worth it. Tell me about the Two of Wands reverse. There's that Queen of Wands reverse. Two of Swords. Can I get one more for this Two of Wands reverse? Ooh, the Hermit. There you are, Virgo. Showing up to your own reading here. I have the Virgo. Oh, I have the Virgo. I have Virgo here, and then I also have someone else. Um, this could be also this King of Wands reverse could be your person unable to act. Same here. Queen of Wands reverse, your person unable to act. But I feel like the decision, it, I feel like this has already been made. The Two of Wands is reversed. I feel like the path has already been chosen and this person is ready to move. They're ready to take advantage of the opportunity, have their new beginning, and it's, it is, is, is regarding you. You're involved here in some way. There's gonna be difficulties, delays, you know, but I feel like uh, there's still gonna be at least communication and eventually movement, you know. These chariots are upright, both of them. The Knight of Swords is upright. Eight of Wands, upright. This is action, all upright, which tells me it's still gonna happen. Um, I don't know what this Moon Reverse is, but it's almost like there's something that's gonna be rising to the surface, and it's gonna help this person take charge. And it's gonna be difficult, but it's going to be worth it. You have three aces, the new beginning will happen here, Virgo. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you got something out of this reading. Uh, leave me a comment if it resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings, want to see more, or just want to support the channel for free. And I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.